I cannot enter. It's locked.
Good evening, nurse. Good evening. And I'm Doctor. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated. Goodbye, nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about... He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion spe... Goodbye, Dr. Tippett.
Turn around, sir.
The flower is dying. It needs water. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon. What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before. 
becoming a vampire. Mary's such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Who are you really, Miss Harcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. Mary, such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Hercroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Ah, oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark to your nocturnal activities. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Dr. Swansea has already told us about Did he really? All members of staff have already read about I see. You must know. If you need assistance.
Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A pawnbroker. I expect you get all type. Yes, sir. Who comes here to trade with you? I'm very cautious. What kind of... With the quarantine, it's... Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and cute. Sorry you ended up on my plane and called the medical bench, sir. I will not let you down, my boy. Exactly how bad? It really depends. Why then do you always... At the Pembroke... Lack of sleep and the medical profession always ends in disaster. London's trenches start here at Pembroke Hospital. We are on the front line, make no... You're dedicated... We start... Please, could you point me in the... It's the large boarded up building behind the hospital. That's all for now, Nurse Crane. Thank you. Oh, sweet girl. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs me. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Beatrice Goswick. Come on. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening. I'm the man. I don't want to talk. My throat hurts. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Could you at least tell me your name, sir? I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Don't always need the words to calm the children, Helen. As for me, Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Goodbye, Dr. Strickland.
remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be also new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. I'm dead. I'm alive. Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. It may seem strange, but you forgive me. Those... Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Please. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactor. A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that... And you would like me to eradicate this threat? Why, the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Flew took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here. I'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. You're a van. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. It seems I'm the butt of a joke, or pigeon of a con. Dr. Swansea might have told me who I was going to meet. I know you're a man of action, Doctor. 
I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the bl Please continue. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. Another night with the glorious battalion of Pembroke. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Please, calm down, madam. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I have. Blackmail? I... Investigating something. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, or all of them. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof... This is your business, Doctor. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Thank you. 
How long have you been a nurse? Well... You'd be surprised. How is the Pembroke staff coping with you? Not well. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad rep. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good. Have you seen a strange man? I've never heard of such... Do you know if any of the hospital staff have... The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. How are things? Not good. Do you think this... We are all... And in... Sorry, Doctor. I'm not familiar. Brilliant, but Most... It would be... Nurse Brannigan, if you do know... No. Is there any... Well... I... Why should his age... I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. Have you seen a strange... I've never... Goodbye, nurse. Call me... Good evening, Nurse Brennan. Good evening. Goodbye, Nurse. so many times please sir I need help bad what's going on I'm blind sir I'm Dr. Oswald Thomas how long I, can, I can't can be ashamed of me. I have all the information thank you Dr. Rip have you found Oswald not yet all right where was your friend he went down by this is we were looking I have all the information I need for now. If I find it... Thank you, Doctor. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, 
When you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. <laughs>